The world watched, united by anticipation and a sense of awe. From living rooms to crowded parks, eyes everywhere were fixed on screens and skies waiting for history to unfold. On the Texas coast, Starship Flight 10 stood poised, bathed in the golden light of dawn. The air was thick with tension and hope. This was more than a test. It was SpaceX's boldest leap yet, a culmination of years of relentless innovation, sleepless nights and daring dreams. Millions tuned in, engineers braced for history. Every heartbeat in mission control echoed the stakes of the moment. Every past failure and success was built into this moment. Each explosion, each triumphant landing, every lesson learned, now woven into the fabric of this flight. The mission, launched the largest rocket ever constructed by human hands, a towering symbol of ambition and engineering prowess, test a new Starlink deployment, aiming to expand global connectivity and bring the internet to the most remote corners of the planet, and push the heat shield to its limits, challenging the boundaries of reusability. The countdown echoed, 10, 9, 8, each number a drumbeat in the hearts of all watching. The industry doubted, analysts questioned the risks, but SpaceX thrived on risk. It was the fuel for their ambition, the spark for their innovation. Three, two, one, ignition. The moment of truth arrived. Fire and steam erupted. The Raptor engines roared to life, shaking the ground and sending shockwaves through the crowd. The rocket strained against its tethers, then lifted, slowly at first, then with gathering speed, defying gravity and doubt alike. The livestream hosts could barely contain their excitement, voices trembling as they narrated each second of ascent. This flight would answer, could Starship handle the stress of launch and re-entry? Could it deploy next-gen satellites with precision? Could it return in one piece, ready to fly again? The world held its breath as the mission began, every second stretching into eternity, every eye searching for signs of success or failure. The industry watched waiting to see if Musk's vision would once again defy the odds, if the impossible would become reality before their eyes. The launch was not just a step, it was a giant, risky leap, a moment that could redefine what humanity believes is possible. The future of spaceflight was on the line, and as Starship soared, so too did the hopes of a planet daring to reach for the stars. The ignition was flawless, a moment of pure anticipation as the countdown reached zero. In the darkness, the engines roared to life, illuminating the pad with a sudden blinding light. The Raptor engines unleashed their fury, creating what looked like a man-made volcano. Flames erupted downward, churning up clouds of smoke and fire that lit up the Texas coast for miles around. The rocket stood engulfed in a cocoon of fire, while the water deluge system fought to cool the inferno, turning torrents of water instantly into billowing steam. The launch pad became a cauldron of elemental forces, fire, water, and steel. Then, with a deep mechanical groan, the hold-down clamps released. The 400-foot stack gleaming in the firelight began its slow, majestic rise from the pad, defying gravity. Starship climbed, a skyscraper taking flight, trailing a thunderous column of smoke and fire. The ground shook as the engines thundered, echoing across the coastal plains. Cheers erupted at Starbase. Engineers, technicians, and onlookers alike celebrated as the first hurdle was cleared. The tension of months melted into exhilaration. The ascent was stable, guided by advanced flight computers and the precise gimbaling of the engines. Every second, the rocket's path was monitored and adjusted. Millions of tiny adjustments imperceptible to the naked eye kept the rocket perfectly balanced on its pillar of thrust, ensuring a smooth and controlled climb. The vehicle picked up speed, slicing through the lower atmosphere. Clouds whipped past as Starship accelerated, its engines burning with relentless power. The deafening noise faded as it climbed higher, replaced by the crackle and hiss of engines in the thinning air. The world below grew smaller, the sky darker. Every system performed as expected. The booster continued to push Starship higher, its exhaust plume stretching for miles, a testament to engineering precision. This was poetry in motion, a vindication of years of relentless work, sleepless nights and countless tests. For the team, it was a dream, taking flight. No longer just an experimental prototype, Starship soared like a veteran, its flight path steady and true, a symbol of progress and ambition. Soon, it became a bright shining point against the vast Texas sky, reflecting sunlight as it climbed ever higher, almost disappearing from view. The first stage was a complete success. Mission control erupted in applause, but everyone knew the mission was far from over. Around the world, millions watched live, captivated by the spectacle. 
The most challenging parts of the mission were still ahead, and the world held its breath, waiting to see what would happen next. Starship approached Max Q, the point of maximum stress. The stainless steel structure held firm, silencing critics. Passing Max Q, the rocket accelerated into thinner air. The super heavy booster burned propellant at an astonishing rate, pushing Starship to the edge of space. Onboard computers kept the trajectory perfect. This phase was a delicate balance of power and control, a controlled explosion pointed skyward. Years of design and testing made it look easy. As the booster neared the end of its burn, it had done its job. Now came stage separation, the handoff to Starship. The booster throttled down, traveling at hypersonic speeds. The stage was set for hot staging, a daring maneuver never before attempted at this scale. The world braced for what came next. Stage separation arrived, not the usual way but with hot staging. Starship's engines ignited before separating, both stages firing at once. A vented interstage channeled the exhaust, protecting the booster. The maneuver worked, clean, efficient, and stunning. The booster flipped, performed a boost back burn, and headed for splashdown. This rapid sequence showcased SpaceX's control software and vehicle capabilities. Hot staging shocked the industry, a game-changer for rocket efficiency. No coasting just momentum maintained. The gamble paid off, Starship continued its burn toward orbital velocity. The most audacious part was over, and it was a resounding success. SpaceX had set a new industry standard, the booster descended, Starship pressed on. The future of launch had changed in minutes. With launch and separation behind, Starship pressed on, its six Raptors burned, pushing the vehicle on a suborbital arc. The payload new Starlink satellite simulators, designed for Starship's massive capacity. Engine cutoff, silence in space. The payload bay door opened smoothly, revealing the next-gen satellites. Larger, heavier, and more advanced, they promised multi-gigabit speeds. A new deployment system pushed the entire stack out at once, fast, elegant, and essential for rapid Constellation build-out. One Starship launch could do the work of many Falcon 9S. The test was a milestone for Starlink and SpaceX's business plan. The synergy between Starship and Starlink was real. The industry took note. SpaceX was building a launch and satellite juggernaut. After deployment, Starship coasted silently for nearly an hour. Engineers ran tests, life support, power, thermal control, and crucially, in-space propellant transfer. Moving cryogenic fuel in zero gravity is key for Mars missions. Data streamed back to Texas, every reading, every valve, every fluctuation. Starship became a laboratory in space, gathering data for future missions. The vehicle performed flawlessly. As the coast ended, Starship oriented for re-entry, belly first, ready for the trial by fire. The world waited to see if the steel giant could survive its fall. Starship hit the atmosphere at over 17,000 miles per hour. Friction created a plasma sheath. Temperatures soared above 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat shield, made of thousands of ceramic tiles, faced its ultimate test. SpaceX pushed the vehicle to its limits, intentionally risking tile loss. Cameras showed tiles glowing, some breaking away. Despite this, Starship remained stable, flaps making constant adjustments. A communication blackout added tension. Would the vehicle hold together? As plasma faded, signal returned. Starship was battered but intact. The heat shield proved robust. Losing tiles didn't mean failure, the structure held. The trial by fire was survived. This was a monumental success for reusability. Starship was ready for its final maneuver. The world exhaled. SpaceX had done what many thought impossible. The landing awaited. Surviving the fiery gauntlet of re-entry, Starship plunged through the lower atmosphere in its signature belly flop, a maneuver that looked almost impossible. The spacecraft's heat shield glowed as it absorbed the intense friction, protecting the precious cargo inside. Every second, sensors relayed data back to Earth confirming that the vehicle was holding together under unimaginable stress. As it neared the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, anticipation built. Starship's computers calculated the precise moment to initiate the landing flip, preparing for one of the most dramatic maneuvers in aerospace history. The command was sent in a split second. Starship responded instantly, pivoting from a horizontal freefall to a vertical orientation. The entire world watched as the rocket executed its complex flip, a ballet of engineering and physics. Three Raptor engines roared to life, their fiery plumes battling gravity and inertia. The engines throttled with precision, slowing the rocket's descent and guiding it toward a gentle splashdown. The live view was absolutely breathtaking. Blue ocean rushing up to meet the descending rocket, 
engines thundering as they fought to control the fall. Viewers around the globe held their breath, witnessing history unfold in real time. As the rocket neared the surface, its descent slowed dramatically. Onboard computers made rapid, final adjustments, ensuring the trajectory was perfect for a safe landing. Every system worked in harmony, a testament to years of engineering. Contact, Starship touched down softly, upright for a brief, triumphant moment before tipping over as planned. The controlled splashdown was a stunning display of precision and control, proving what many thought was impossible. Mission control erupted in celebration, engineers and technicians cheering, hugging and high-fiving. Years of hard work and sleepless nights had paid off in spectacular fashion. Every primary objective was achieved, launch, stage deployment, re-entry, and a controlled landing. Each phase was a triumph, marking a new era in space exploration. This was a quantum leap, not just an incremental step. The boundaries of what was possible had been pushed further than ever before. The aerospace world was stunned. Experts and engineers watched in disbelief, realizing they had just witnessed a breakthrough that would change the industry forever. What was once thought impossible had just been accomplished, live, in front of millions. The world watched as history was made, united in awe and excitement. SpaceX had rewritten the rules of spaceflight, setting a new standard for innovation and ambition. The future of spaceflight had arrived. The world cheered, knowing that humanity had just taken a giant leap toward the stars. Starship Flight 10 was a turning point, a fully reusable super heavy lift rocket, hot staging and a robust heat shield. SpaceX had changed the game. Launch costs would plummet. Mars colonization was now plausible. Science could launch bigger telescopes. Commerce could build vast constellations. The new Starlink deployment method signaled a new era. Critics were silenced. Unconventional ideas vindicated. SpaceX's rapid development forced the industry to innovate or be left behind. This was about more than rockets, it was about humanity's future. For the first time, a multi-planetary future felt real. On August 29, 2025, a new dawn for space exploration began.